Hi friends, I am Rangarajesh. I am the author of ASP.NET tutorial online.blogspot.com and jQuery example code.online blog the jquery example code.blogspot.com okay uh, basically we have completed uh, three uh, tutorials uh, uh, regarding jquery for the basic and then now i'm going to debug jquery code in the mozilla firefox browser uh, for this just i have written a small program which we have used in the previous tutorial okay just i have opened this so uh, here uh, just what it is doing is uh, if we are going to click on a button this click event will fire and it will display the uh, uh, it, it will display the text what is there in this uh, uh, division okay so for this just what I am doing is just I am going to run over here and I am going to launch this uh, program in the Firefox browser now browser is getting loading and then it is loaded now okay just what I'm doing is I'm going to click on this you are going to get the pop-up as uh, ASP.NET tutorial online dot blogspot dot com okay now I'm going to debug this program now for this uh, you have to uh, go for F12 but just to click on F12 button now you are uh, uh, developer tools got loaded and I'm going to click on debugging you can able to see your HTML code over here uh, and code was coming from jquery example uh, code.jquery.com this is jquery uh, 1.10.2.js file because we are using this file in our program see this is jquery 1.10.2.js file so what I am doing is just I am going to put a debugger point here and then I am going to start the click event just I am going to click on this event now debugger point got uh, loaded and you can able to see the expression side just you can add the expression over here just add one expression I am taking the value over from here just I am taking the value just I am watching add to watch expression add watch and then it is uh, already there just you can there is some syntactical error just you have to go to home and delete it and press enter you can able to see the ASP.NET tutorial online.blogspot.com if you want to see the inner HTML also you can able to see here just you have to write HTML off you can see the HTML of this uh, uh, what is the if any content is there HTML content you can able to see the HTML for example if you want to see the uh, body body tag just you have to write that HTML you can able to see the div. what is the value is there in this uh, uh, HTML just this kind of this complete value is there total body uh, tag element was loaded over here and then you have to press uh, next step it is getting loading now uh, it is uh, giving the alert of ASP.NET tutorial online.blogspot.com just uh, I am closing this just I am going to next step this is step over it is called if you, you can press also F10 ok step in means if any function is there you can able to go for step in and then if you want to go step out you can go for step out ok and if you want to stop the uh, if you want to execute this one completely just press F5 so it is a uh, fresh uh, complete uh, execution was completed uh, so like this we are going to execute uh, sorry debug the program in the Mozilla Firefox browser I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any queries concerns please uh, uh, give uh, your queries in the comment section and uh, your, va your feedback is more valuable to me to improve the videos in the future uh, so please give your comments uh, positive comments in the comment section uh, thanks friend I'll catch you in next video